Hello, good day to everyone and welcome to another episode on tips and workflow. In this short demonstration or workflow video, I'm going to discuss on weld lines. Yes, surface weld line as well as the 3D weld lines. So this will help us to clear some of the doubts related to the surface weld line and 3D weld line. When you run a, like a fill of flow analysis and that using a 3D mesh, uh, we get uh, three weld line plots. What I'm talking about is like a weld line. That's but the uh, a natural plot or the most certain plot that we get for any type of mesh that you run. When, when I mesh, when I say mesh is like a big plane, a dual domain or a 3D. What is like a weld line? This particular represents the weld line formation as the flow moves on. It's but like a surface, weld line forming on the surface. As the flow front moves, the instantaneously the, the flow meets, that's where uh, we and forms uh, or the converge, the weld line is formed. That's been represented with the help of the weld line. Now there is another plot called as the weld line formation and that's like a 3D. So what it's represent is that it's uh, the same weld line but it is represented in the 3D formation. With the 2021 release, uh, we have made the changes in it with the more refinement. Uh, compared to 2019, you will see a much better refinement in capturing that information. But of course, you need an, a little fine mesh if you're looking for a high resolution of the weld lines. So if you try to overlay this surface weld line onto the surface 3D formation, I'll see that it's almost like in a very same locations, but the only difference is that you will see the weld line throughout the part. Now there is another weld line plot is the weld line movement 3D. I, I changed the default uh, uh, plot color to pink. Now this plot is something uh, which represents the weld line that is formed throughout the process. When I say throughout the process is fill, pack and, and the cooling analysis. Now it's a movement of the weld line forms and further moves because of the packing and other changes. Now what are the factors that impacting it to it is like the packing pressure, packing time, material transition temperature and also the shear rate. So all in all uh, uh, various factors impacting uh, to it. Many times you know uh, during the weld line formations uh, people would see uh, something uh, like a, a mark over here. Let's say example if you, the mark is seen over here at this locations and after the weld line movement uh, the same marks moves somewhere here. So probably it's a formation of this mark over here and then it moves over here. If I try to overlay both the things, you'll probably able to understand. I was mentioning about the way, uh, the mark formation over here and then it moves further all the way here. Maybe I'm just taking an example. So I hope uh, this short video was useful to understand the, all the three plots related to weld line, the surface weld line, it's actually a representation of the dual domain mesh. Then the weld line formations, the same weld line represented in the form of the 3D and the weld line uh, movement 3D. That's the throughout the process how the weld line moves like fill, pack and cooling uh, cycle and various parameters impacts to it. Thank you for your time.